do 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 perfect team equist we got a perfect team do 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 perfect team equist <laughs> What's up guys, Royale with Cheese here, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. How's everybody doing today? I'm having a great day today. Just a little reminder, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And for more daily Ark content, don't forget to subscribe. So, if you look over the, here at the outdoor play yard at the barn, I've been breeding up some sheep, I bred up another dodo, our sheep farm's coming along quite nicely. Uh, today we're going to take a cruise around. I'd like to get an Iguanodon, a high-level Iguanodon. I've only tamed the one in the update special, but I don't have one yet for our, our real arc. And, I don't know, whatever else we might find. But first, like always, we have to check in with Murder. Murder, how you doing, buddy? Oh, hey, what's up, man? Uh, not much. How you guys doing today? Uh, we're doing good. What's up, little Jerry? Uh, guys, how's it going? Oh, uh, you know, we're just hanging out. We're doing good. Hey, did you hear about the guy that went to the doctor with six plastic horses in his belly? No, I didn't hear about that at all. That's crazy. Yeah, the doctor said his condition was stable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Murder, that one's, <laughs> that's a pretty good one. <laughs> all right, see you, little Jerry. See you, Murder. Later, guys. All right, that was Murder, everybody. All right, so to start off today, I'm just going to take a cruise around our island, uh, you know, see what's going on. Maybe we can find a new sheep or, who knows, an iguanodon. But uh, we'll be right back. And we're back. All right, guys, I just poked my head up over the hill real quick to see, you know, to see if there's any sheep or equus right here. All right, there's a, a level 5. Yeah. But then look, there's a level 85... A 130. Where's the other one? There was one more. Where'd he go? Oh, come on. Where's that other one? You're a 130 female. A five. 85. Where'd that other one go? I just was fighting off a raptor. To, I mean, not a raptor. I just killed the Carno to keep them safe. There was a 150 here a second ago. Where did he go? Oh, seriously? That's... What, did he get killed? No. Oh, this must be him. Is this him? Look at a 150. I can't believe it. All right. Ugh, we gotta save him. Okay. I don't have any more carrots on me, so we're gonna run home real quick. Grab some carrots. Grab Mr. Pink and zip back here real quick and try to get this 150. All right, we'll be right back. And we're back. All right, he's getting attacked right now. Diadillo. Okay. All right, we got to be super careful with this because if we mess up the passive, follow me. If we mess up and don't feed him right or get knocked off, then the taming effectiveness will go down, and he won't end up being a perfect tame. I really want a perfect tame this 150. Right. Oh, first we, the bug army needs to die. Come here. This is a saber tooth's main weakness is these bugs. It doesn't like hit up high enough to. Yeah! There we go. All right, you're following me. All right, let's do this, guys. Oh, I'm nervous. Who knows when we might st ever never see a 150 of these again? All right, come on. All right, we're gonna pay super close attention to this. And feed him when it pops up and not pop off. That's the main objective right now. We'll end up with a... If we get a perfect tame Ovis... Um, Ovis. Perfect tame Equus, that'll be so sweet. All 
Then all we'd have left to find is the the unicorn. Perfect tame unicorn. That's got to be nuts to find. But if we can tame up this 150 male, I'm gonna also go try to tame up that 130 female. And then we can try to make a super beast baby Equus, which will also be awesome. Alright, okay. We can do this. We're good enough. We're smart enough. And doggone it, people like us. My main thing I gotta be careful about is not to double hit the E button when it says feed. Because if you do that, you'll jump off and it'll mess up your taming effectiveness come on eat some food oh I'm so nervous come on eat this is freaking me out uh, come on oh please just eat give me a panic attack All right, one or two more feeds and we should have it. Come on, baby. I really wasn't sure if I'd ever get a perfect team one of these guys. They're super rare. I can't believe one spawned right by our base like this. Come on. Come on, baby. Take another carrot. One more carrot, hopefully. Come on! Eat already! Oh, still needs one more. Alright, one more carrot. 99% to a perfect team. Equus! Oh. We need... Yes! 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 Perfect team, Equus! Oh, get donkey kick, Pteranodon. Woohoo! Yeah, do the perfect tame Equus dance. Do, 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 perfect tame Equus. Bam, bam, bam. We got a perfect tame. Do, 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 perfect tame Equus. Oh, yes. Woo! All right, I'm going to run this guy home and drop him off before I have a panic attack about him being killed. And then we're going to come back and try to get that 130 female as well. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we got this guy back to the barn. He's going right in a stall before I have a panic attack. Yes. Oh, I'm so pumped to get this guy. Woo. Oh, he's beautiful. You're tremendous. I love you. Tamed out at 224. Tamed out with 1920 health, 2632 stamina, 574 weight, 330 melee damage. Yes. Oh, so excited. Woo! Alright, now we're gonna ride Mr. Pink back and try to grab that 130 female as well. Be right back. And we're back! And I believe this... Yep, there's the 130 female. We're gonna try to get this one too. If we can manage to get a perfect team on this one, then we'll be able to... should be able to breed a really good baby. Between a 150 male and a 130 female. If we get lucky, it'll be better than a perfect team, which would be great. Oh, I wish Mr. Pink was following me. Follow me, Mr. Pink. No, I don't want to send him on follow, though. Mess up the team. Alright. Good, good girl. Eat your carrots. Get out of the way, Dudicorous. Alright, 66%. Whoa, this one's a... Whoa! It's a parkour horse. Come on. I like this new mechanic of taming. It's really fun. It's like stressful, but fun. It's, I like it a lot. Alright, 82%. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold or something. But that won't stop the videos. Work or sleet or snow or sickness, the videos must 
be delivered. Whoa. Whoa! Like inside of you for a second. Come on. Come on, eat your carrot. Please eat your carrot. Um, please, please eat your carrot. Come on! All right, one more. We're at 97%. Perfect team so far. One more feed. And we'll have a perfect team for a 130 female. Yes. Great Equus Day. They these guys do spawn here, but it's rare. Like they spawn here like every once in a while. But when they do spawn, they spawn in a pack. So there's if they're here, there's a few of them here. Let me show you guys on the map where we are, in case you're looking for Equus. So right here. I've also seen them um, in that middle river, like straight west from us, on both sides of the river there. That's where I've found them so far. So either here, here, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. There's a huge T-Rex kicking our butt. Come on, let's go. Run. What level is this T-Rex that came out of nowhere and started chewing on my face? A 145 female. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll have to come back and tame her up, too. All right, well, I'm going to run this lady back to base, and we'll be right back. And we're back. All right, we got this lady back to base. She teamed up with 1,488 health, 1,848 stamina, 581 weight, and 294 melee damage out of 194. So, in a little bit, we're going to try to make them a baby. It's going to be awesome. All right, but for now, uh, if you remember, at the end of the last episode, I was harvesting up some biotoxin. So, I think I'm going to go try to make some of the shocking arrows, or not not arrows, darts, and then we'll go try to back, excuse me, then we'll try to go back to the 145 T-Rex back there and try to tame that up too. It's a taming extravaganza. So, I'm going to drop off Mr. Pink over here, we're going to run back to the base and make up some darts and we'll be right back. And we're back! Alright, I made up some of these shocking tranquilizer darts. They're super expensive. Each one takes an, a regular tranquilizer dart, two metal ingots, and three biotoxin. So it's pretty crazy. But they're supposed to be twice as effective. So, And I figured... what? Hold on. I figured we've never tamed anything on horseback before. So I figured we'd try to give this horse a try. And see if we could tame up something with him. Um, this isn't one of our brand new horses. I wouldn't risk, <laughs> like, our perfect tame horse or the 130. This is one of the ones we've already had. And I've been raising his... Wow, well, his health is super low. But I've been raising his movement speed, so... Hopefully we can run around and stay ahead of this guy. I don't know. I just thought it'd be something fun. So, here we go. Let's do this.
Why why does this always have to happen? Like All right, well, I guess we're not getting this Rex. Not by any fault of our own, but by stupid arc mechanics where dinos like to run into the water once they get torpor. I really, really wish that would get fixed. Like, running away, fine, run away from me. But why would a giant T-Rex run, just run into the ocean? I don't... <laughs> like, it's just so, slowly sinking. Like, what? Okay, well, that's not going to be a thing. We're going to run back to base and ch look into um, mating up our new horses. We'll be right back. And we're back! All right, I got these two all saddled up. Again, you don't need the saddles to ride them, but I think the saddles look super cool, and they do give them a little bit more armor. So just in case they were attacked, they have a little bit more survivability. But we're going to take these guys. Oh, I named this one Brayburn, and that one is Fluttershy. Sticking with our My Little Pony theme, Bronies for Life. Okay, Brayburn, you stay there. Fluttershy, let's do this. Okay. Shut the door. Wander, please. And, and of course, the wandering is in a different spot. All right, they're doing it. We'll be right back when we're about to have a baby. Uh, don't look. Don't look. Don't. No, don't, don't. No, no, stop looking. And we're back. All right, so we're still waiting for Fluttershy to have her baby. I would say she's like, 60 to 65 percent there on the gestation. We're just still waiting, hanging out with Brayburn. But I did another round of saber mating with Mr. Pink, and look what we got! We ended up with another super cool baby mutation. Look, it's like pink and cyan. It's awesome. I'm so pumped. That saber is so cool looking. We can't seem to get color mutations of any other breed. Oh, I, that's not true. We got the blue dogs. Or wolves. But this guy looks so sick. Oh, so excited. Yes. I love the color mutated babies. I can't tell you how many sabers. Look, look at all our colored sabers down there. <laughs> They're like... I've bred up a lot of sabers, but finally, we got another color mutation. Yes. So, super psyched about that. So, we're just going to hang out and keep waiting on Fluttershy here. Uh, but I wanted to check in and show you guys this guy. He's super awesome. All right, we'll be right back. All right, it should be any second now. The horse, I didn't realize the horse gestation times are really, really long. I was able to breed a whole round of, like, saber breedings and... And give births while this was just eating really really takes a long time and I have my rates turned up so if you're playing on official it's really gonna take a long time for this gestation come on all right give us an awesome baby who maybe we'll get another I think we could get two color mutations in one day that'd be sick come on give me like a crazy blue horse baby nope normal okay what do we got 218 pretty good in print all right let's give you some berries eat the berries eat some more berries okay please don't wander we don't like when our babies wander okay come here come here we walk this way come on let's get a look at you All right, well, we're gonna be able to make a super horse army now, which is awesome. Let's see, do you look? Oh, it's kind of cool. It got like a little bit of the mom's colors and a little bit of the dad's colors. It's like brown like the mom, but with black stripes like the dad. I like it. Very cool. You're a little cutie. Aw. I know, you're so hungry. I'm starving, I'm a baby. Oh, a little 218 horse. Are you, what are you? A female cool awesome guys we got our little horse our little horse barn is gonna be booming now we got these high-level horses we can just keep making tons and tons of horses yes oh I'm super excited 
All right, well, you hang out with your parents. I'm going to keep feeding you. All right, we're going to make sure she's all good to go until she's eating off the trough, and then we'll be right back. And we're back. And this little lady's getting grown up. We got her eating off the trough now. I moved her over here into the barn so she can hang out with her fam. So that means we're free. We're free. I'm free. I'm free to leave the base again. So we're going to... We've had really good luck on our island so far today, except for that T-Rex running into the water. So I think we're probably going to grab Mr. Pink and go out for a run around and see what else we can find. I'd really like to find a Iguanodon. We, we tamed one in the update special, but it was a super low level. I just left it there to die. So I'd like to get an Iguanodon. Maybe we could find a high level one of those, or who knows what else we might run into out there. So we'll be right back. And we're back. All right, I was cruising around our island for a while and not having much luck. So, I wanted to get off our island, and I told you guys yesterday, there's talk on Twitter that there's going to be another update to somewhat fix the flyer situation. So perhaps they'll become usable again, but it hasn't happened yet. So, I built us a bridge to the mainland. That's right. I looked around for the best spot where it was at least sort of low. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Um... And I built a little connector bridge to this island. And if you run over here, a little bit, to over here. <laughs> oh, there it is. I forgot where I put my bridge. And I built another little connector bridge to this island. And so now we're free. We can take any land dinos we want and not have to worry about crossing the super manta crazy shark infested water. And we can get to the mainland. We've escaped our land. We've we've ungilliganed ourselves. So that's very exciting. And that's just a little update. So now I'm gonna run around the mainland for a while and see if we can find anything good. We'll be right back. And we're back. Alright, I'm cruising around the mainland. I'm right there. So I haven't gone very far. But there's Equus here. So for anybody looking for Equus, this one's like a 95 or something. I got a weird scorpion just chilling behind me. What was up with that scorpion? Did you guys see that? That was weird. But there's a couple of them here. I didn't see anything of very good levels, so I'm not going to tame anything here. But I just wanted to help out. Anybody that's looking for an Equus, you can find them right here in this spot. Alright. Well, it looks like... Is that one in the water over there? It's a water horse. Look at it. <gasps> so rare. Alright. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep on looking. We'll be right back. And we're back. Okay. Oh, they're separated right now. Which one's which? You're the... There's the 150. Okay, so I've been cruising around the mainland for quite a while now. And I finally found this 150 Rex. So, maybe we can redeem ourselves from the Rex we lost earlier. i got to kill this one real quick. Oh, well, I'm... St what? Okay. What happened? They both disappeared. Okay, that one's down. Okay, so now we're going for Rex Tame number two. Let's see if we can tame this guy up without having him run into the ocean. Let's do this. Yo, it's a violent life. You can live to a hundred, you could die tonight. That's why we getting high tonight, yeah That's why I let my man drive tonight, yeah It's a violent life, you can live to a hundred, you could die tonight That's why we getting high tonight, yeah That's why I let my man drive tonight, yeah That's why we getting high tonight That's why we getting high tonight, yeah That's why we getting high tonight That's why we getting high tonight, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, he's down, he's down, he's down. Okay, nice. All right, we're going to harvest up this other T-Rex, wherever he is, right here. Perfect. All right, we're going to grab some meat, harvest this guy up, and tame up this other T-Rex. Awesome. And he's up, he's up, he's up. I get a good feeling about this guy. So he's going to be the one. Yes, that's right. This is going to be the one that finally gives us a better than a perfect tame. Now you guys are probably thinking, like, boy, he t is obsessed with taming Rexes. And I am. Rexes are pretty much the most powerful uh, land dinos. I know Gigas are more powerful, but with their lack of stamina, they're really not as usable. So uh, a Rex is pretty much the most powerful land mount you can get. And has, if you guys have ever played on an official server where you can't pick up dinos, you'd recognize this thing. I went old school with the, the spiked wall <laughs> taming uh, pen. So nothing came in and bothered us. It worked out great. But this is how you had to do it. If you play on an official server, you can't pick up any dinos. So you have to do all your taming out in the wild. So you'd always carry these around with you. At least this is how I always did it on my server. You would carry these things around with you. And if you ever downed something, you would just pop these things around it and there you go bam instant taming pen okay I'm probably super fat now let's get rid of all this stuff okay so we're gonna walk this guy home and hopefully finally we can breed up a better than perfect tame Rex and put our ascendant saddle on it and it'll be an awesome beast mode mount but I'll see you guys when we get back to base and we're back all right, I got the one back to base. I like his color. He's like gray or something. He's a nice color. I like him. He tamed out with 8,100 health, 1,722 stam, 860 weight, and 317 melee damage. We're going to hook him up with our Lady Rex. Ooh, I'm starving. I'm going to hook him up with our Lady Rex and bring you guys back when we have a baby. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there he is, there he is. What do we get, what do we get? Please, yes! Yes! Finally! All the taming and breeding and Tyrannosaurus junk has finally paid off. And we managed to come up with a better than perfect tame T-Rex. Yes. Don't wander better than perfect tame T-Rex, please. Please don't wander. Okay. Okay. Let's get you out in the light. Take a look at you real quick. Come here. Come on, get unstuck from the door. Perfect. Oh, finally, guys. We I've been working for a long time to get this, Rex. Okay. Let's look at you real quick. Uh, eat your food. Eat your food. Okay. All right, he's pretty much a mix of the two. We kind of got like the reddish and the gray. Not in really love with his colors, but probably have to give him a paint job. But that's going to do it for this episode of Ark Survival Evolved, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please, please hit that like button. And for more daily Ark content, don't forget to flap your arms like a bird. No, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys tomorrow.